Okay, so lastly for the day, let's move over to the Book of Acts. Um, basically, nobody knows. No one knows when Jesus is coming back. Um, no one knows, you know, some things about him coming back. Um, a lot of people you'll see on YouTube and stuff saying Jesus is coming back, or he's, or for years we've heard, oh, he's coming back on this day, and people have been wrong. It. Not e Jesus doesn't even know, okay? So be careful. There's going to be a lot of people who say they are the Christ. Uh, we are seeing days get worse. We are seeing a lot happen, and they're going to say they are him when they are not. Um, so we want to make sure we uh, definitely believe in him. Baptiz baptism does not save you. Um, when you are baptized, it's just like a wedding. It's an outward profession of your faith in Jesus Christ. But the Holy Spirit does indwell us when we become Christians, and we are married to Christ, so to say, when we are believers. So um, there is a very strong bond in the in the you know the real church community, the real church family of God, and I say real because there are a lot of false teachers. Um, also be careful of those who will say you can lose your salvation. I don't think it's a, I, I don't know that it's a, you know, a major doctrine, um, as far as having some differences, but it is a serious one, one that you don't want to fall into. You don't, you cannot lose your salvation. Once saved, always saved. Um, some will say if you're backslidden, you're on your way to hell, um, that doesn't make sense with once you get your act together, right? How would you be like, okay, I'm going to hell today, tomorrow I'm good? No, God loves his children unconditionally. So the Bible teaches this. And, um, you know, there's only one way to heaven, and that's through Jesus Christ. Um, there's people who think they're righteous. They think they, you know, they're pretty good people. They're not like a Charles Manson, which is true, but it's still not good enough. There was only one way to heaven, one sacrifice, and that was Jesus Christ. Otherwise, why would he have come to earth, right? He came to die. He came to save his people. And um, it doesn't matter if you pay your bills on time, if you haven't, you know, been a Ted Bundy. All sin is the same before the cross. We all have sinned, and we all fall short of the glory of God. And it's only by faith that we are saved, not through works, lest anyone should boast. A lot of the times we see a lot of churches preaching, you know, if you do if you do this and you do that and you're a pretty good person, then you're going to earn your way to heaven. Martin Luther, you know, the reformer, came and said, no, it's by faith. It's not by works. Uh, we're justified by faith. And if we had to do something, Jesus wouldn't have said it is finished on the cross. He did the work for us. By believing in him, we're saved. And then the good works come. They come because, you know, because we desire to do good things. Um, and that's all by the Holy Spirit. So it's supernatural. It's hard to believe. But we definitely do not want to blaspheme the Holy Spirit.